Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a first impressions of the Extra 5 M8 because this is a just very weird mouse, and I feel like I need to talk about it now because some of the info I've seen about it um, is not really painting an inaccurate picture, but it's just not quite sh like saying how weird this mouse is. Um, so first things first, it does charge from the side. You might wonder why. Well, reason one, this more so resembles the design of an actual mouse's tail than a mouse that charges in the front, and second, um, it is to make room for the ultra low button height. They don't have room for a charging port. They're too intense and focused on the ultra low button height. So that is one of the big selling points of this mouse. 55 grams, 33.95, super low button height. That is essentially what ExtraFi is offering. And it does deliver on that. I will say the curved buttons feel like the Microsoft WMO, which is definitely not a good comparison. Like you can see, for a company that focused so much on getting the button height ultra low, they didn't really think about adding any comfort grooves, not having it decline on such a sharp angle, like making it more comfortable. And when I fingertip grip, you see I'm not like touching the absolute lowest point on the mouse. And if I do manipulate my grip to like have my fingers basically hang off the edge of the mouse to make use of the ultra low button height, I do feel like I lose out on a lot of stability, but obviously that is gonna vary hand to hand. I do feel like for claw grip, more people will have their fingers that low. Um, still, my natural finger placement does not really make use of the ultra low button height. So unfortunately, I don't get any of the benefits and instead I just get to deal with the very curvy, like outdated, almost like 2000s Microsoft mouse feeling clicks i i just seriously cannot understand why they didn't do a somewhat flatter design with some sort of comfort grooves because um it just hasn't been a great experience in my opinion the shape the rest of the shape is hard to compare to anything else the sides definitely compare well to a gpx but like a mini gpx and if you claw grip it won't feel anything like a gpx in the hand but if you do like palm grip if and you see my mouse is way or my hand is way too big to be making use of a mouse this small for palm grip um in that case it will feel somewhat similar to the gpx but yeah in terms of the design i do feel like it is going to be a pretty big hit or miss maybe some people will absolutely love the low button height and they will increase their kovac scores tenfold because of it um, but i was definitely not one of those people i feel like this is besides that just like a it's an above average mouse like in terms of quality it's really solid the first solid shell extra five mouse and the build feels incredible the weight at 55 grams it does feel a bit dense i'm not gonna lie and the weight balancing as you can see is not going to be like pixel perfect like the gpx super light um especially like if you are finger tipping towards the top of the mouse you will be able to feel the weight balancing off uh, but when you claw grip it's not too noticeable in my opinion but for large hands i don't think the mouse is going to be a huge hit for claw grip I'd say like small to medium hands, claw and palm, that is where this mouse is going to excel. Um, so not a super outstanding ambi mouse so far, but I will be doing some more testing and put out a full review where I cover all of the features in detail. But in short, the button feel is really good as well. They got the side buttons down, no issues with like post travel mushiness. The main clicks are kill 8.0s and I just don't love the feeling, man. The click implementation, the click height, just everything about the clicks is kind of meh. Um, but yeah, the 3395 and the click latency actually feels solid. This is damn near a full review of the mouse. Um, these first impressions videos are very, very tricky. And there is a chance that this is just a design that I need to get adjusted to, but even compared to something that I feel like is somewhat similar with the Pulsar X2 Mini, the M8 just feels so bizarre in hand in comparison. There are other minor details like the coating and just the overall rounded nature of the clicks that make it hard to get a consistent grip of the mouse, but I'll cover that more in the full review. Um, that's going to be all for this video. Ninjutsu Sora review next, and then the M8 full review. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see some more epic gaming mouse content. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all. Any questions, comments below. Peace.